up before the sun on this glorious morning, but none of the stores open until 7 a.m. So here I am, 7 a.m. I got to watch the sunrise on my drive into town and that's always nice. I love early mornings when I get to come into town because I get to see the sun come up. And where I live, down in the holler, down in the holler, where Sally lives. The sun, it comes through the trees, but the trees block so much of it in the hills and everything around us block so much of it that we have a sunrise, but it's just not as open skied and beautiful as it is like this. So I'm at Sherm's Thunderbird and I'm gonna go into Sherm's and see if they have any deals on bags of potatoes. We have just a few potatoes left and I've been cooking with a lot of potatoes lately. So we're gonna be checking out their stock to see what they have here. Then we might run over to Fred Meyers and I'm just picking up a little bit of fresh produce and a few other things, but just a simple low budget grocery haul today. I'm gonna try to keep it under $200. If I can keep it under 150, even better. If I can keep it under 100, that would be amazing. That's for the freeze dryer. I've got to put some bread in it and I don't wanna put a fresh baked loaf of bread in it, but I've gotta soak some bread in vinegar and put it in the freeze dryer and then that way we can get all of the smell out of it. I just grabbed some sandwich bags for the kids for the golf course. We're gonna check out all the prices. Oh my goodness, 32 ounces of maple syrup is $23. That's insane. Wow, that's expensive. Certified organic rolled oats. How much are these? Where's the price tag? There is no price tag, because I would like to get a bag of those. See if they're cheaper than Azure Standard. Four for $5. How much are your beans? Everything here is four for $5. Well, except for the tomatoes. Three for $4. I might grab a box of these, just because we like to keep saltines on hand. $2.99, but we've just got to pick through and see if we can find a good batch. Mmm, the coffee smells good. Here's more herbs. This mango used to be around $10 a pound, but it's gone up a couple dollars for dried mango. Totally intrigued by this. How do we make puffed millet? Is that something I can do in the freeze dryer? Because I have millet at home, but I remember eating this kind of stuff when I was younger, but we would eat like this and this type of cereal, but it wasn't, or I don't think it was organic. Maybe it was back then, but they just didn't label those things. Hi friends, welcome to Rouse Rising. My name is Katie, and today I'm sharing with you a grocery haul from Sherm's Thunderbird. I'm gonna tell you the total at the end. I am trying to keep my budget under $150 this month for my weekly grocery hauls. And I also have an Azure Standard haul that I'm gonna throw in this month or beginning of March as well. So today's grocery haul, my goal was to go there bright and early and get some produce on sale. And I managed to score some produce on sale. So it worked out perfectly because this week I am gonna be testing out my new Harvest Right freeze dryer. And so my goal is to make some yogurt fruit cereal bars for the kids so that we can take those on our future trips coming up this spring and summer so that I can have an easy snack or breakfast for them in a pinch or while we're traveling. They travel easy, it's lightweight. I was inspired by a friend I saw on Facebook, Heather, she was making cereal bars for her family. So I'm gonna attempt to do the exact same thing. So I feel really fortunate that I was there early enough to catch the bananas and the strawberries on sale. They always mark down their produce that's on its way out or to make room for the new produce. I'm also gonna go and pick up five dozen eggs from the egg lady down the street 
So that's gonna be in this week's grocery haul as well because I'm gonna do a bunch more freeze drying with the new freeze dryer. I'm excited to share all that with you. So if you are new here, my name is Katie and on this channel, I share with you all about holistic homemaking, lifestyle and parenting. And that includes mostly meal prep, food prep, grocery hauls, freeze drying, gardening, homesteading. If you are into all of that, then I would love for you to be a part of the Rouse Rising family. All right, let's get into this grocery haul. This video is sponsored by Simply Cool Things and they make really cool sets of kitchen utensils. You can get a whole host of silicone utensils that are safe to use with your non-stick ceramic cookware. And you can check this out linked down below in this video's description. I went to Sherm's Thunderbird and that was a new experience for me because I don't go there very often. But these were $2 each and you could buy a large one for like $7.98. But I prefer having the smaller one because so few people eat these products that it's just better for storage wise to have the individually sealed containers. So Torsten wanted to try out cottage cheese. I figure more of the kids might like that. And also I saw somebody adding cottage cheese to their egg scramble, just like adding it to the eggs, scrambling the eggs, and then adding them to the pan. And I think Aaron also uses, maybe it was cottage cheese that he was using to make some kind of, it was a wrap. He was making carnivore wraps or carnivore pizzas using cottage cheese and eggs. So I went ahead and stocked up on the cottage cheese, stocked up on the sour cream and got some low fat plain yogurt. We're going to use this in the freeze dryer. So for freeze-dried, long-term stored food, I don't mind if it's not um, organic and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be stored long-term. Will we ever get to it? I don't know. So I got a big five dozen pack of cage-free eggs, and these were a little over $11 for these five dozen eggs. And I'm also going to be getting five dozen eggs from my egg lady down the road. So we'll have 10 dozen. I plan to do some breakfast freeze-dryer items um, so we've got some French fries. This is just to make dinner easy when the kids are out golfing with Aaron or if we have like a busy night. They started golfing in the evenings because the weather's been somewhat decent, but we are expecting snow. However, with us being out of the house and stuff like that, it's nice to have something that we can throw in the air fryer along with some chicken nuggets that we have in the freezer that we've had for a while. And that will be a quick and easy night. String cheese, these are to take on the fly to the golf course. And when we're on our field trips, we had a field trip this week to the Farm Expo and we needed snacks and I didn't have any snacks to take. So string cheese is a great snack for the kids. And I can also cut up individual string cheese and pre-package it and do all that myself. But you know what? Busy, we're busy here. So homeschooling mom of five, if you didn't know, there's seven of us home full-time. My husband's retired and he's in school full-time. So we feed a lot of people and there's a lot of food going on in this house and it's nice to have convenience items. It really is. And I don't buy a lot of convenience items. Um, and this is just one week grocery haul. I'm not going back to the grocery store this week. We got two packs of these organic potatoes. I plan to quarter these up and bake these or air fry these or something. Then I grabbed some tomatoes, which I didn't take out of the bag, but these Roma tomatoes they're organic and they were on sale. I'm gonna make some salsa this week. We have, we still have a bag of tortilla chips from, oh, what was it? Two weeks before Super Bowl or three weeks before Super Bowl, whatever it was. We went to the grocery store and I bought tortilla chips and we still have them. So I need to make some salsa for those. We also have green verde salsa, but I like to save that. And we use that in some other things. I grabbed these garlics because they're sprouting and I'm gonna pop them in the garden. So we're gonna do a little bit of gardening this week and get our garlic planted while we can. And then these bananas were obviously on sale. So these are gonna be a part of our freeze dried cereal bars that we're gonna do, as well as these strawberries. These were on sale $2.99 a pack and I probably should have gotten more. Now I'm kind of kicking myself because I know my kids will eat a pack now and then tomorrow I'll do the freeze dryer with all of this stuff. So that is why we grabbed this Malto meal bag of cinnamon toasters. We don't do cereal very often, but I'm really intrigued by these cereal milk bars that we can take with us on trips. So I thought that was a great idea and my I saw my friend Heather do it on uh, Facebook. And so I was like, that's a great idea. I'm going to try that. And then I got the gluten-free 
whole O's. So we'll do a tray of those, a tray of those. We'll do a tray of the combo and um, see, see how much we come out with. But we'll be layering it with bananas and strawberries and yogurt and then the cereal and milk and all that good stuff. So back here, we've got a kiddo that is prone to mouth sores. If you have any suggestions, comment down below. We gave her some zinc yesterday or we've been, you know, we've been trying to keep her vitamins up and everything. Uh, I read that our Cinecom album, which we have in 30C dose. So she took that today and then I got the 6C dose for more chronic because this is an ongoing thing. So when she starts to get them, we'll just dose her every single day with the 6C and then the 30C we dosed her with this morning because that's when I read it online and I was like, oh, I'll go pick up 6C from the store, but she needs emergent relief now. So did the 30C and we'll keep giving her these and just look into your homeopathics because this one, it also relieves symptoms of food poisoning, but it also helps with symptoms of uh, like allergies and mouth sores, things of that nature. So we're going to give her some of this. And then I found this Nutribiotic Mouth Fresh Mouthwash and Gargle with grape seed extract, aloe, and zinc. I'm hopeful that helps her mouth as well. And then we needed some tooth flossers. Um, and we used to use reusable bags. I need to get some more. Yes, I do. I need to invest in reusable bags. For now, we've got these. I am packing the kids sandwiches when they go golfing with their dad they get a sandwich and they get cheese and whatever other snack I can you know a piece of fruit and that's what they have for the golf course and then this is the loaf of bread that you saw in the store I bought this for the freeze dryer in the purpose of setting up the freeze dryer and running its first cycle to get all that industrial smell and yuck out of there you coat this in vinegar and then you put it in the freeze dryer and that works really well to clean the scents out of your freeze dryer I've read. And then I think some people also do rice, but I didn't want to use my rice. And this was only, this was less than $2. Then a big bunch of apples. The kids wanted some apples. So I looked at all the bagged apples that were good deals and they didn't have very good apples. So I chose to pick, hand pick my family's apples so that we got good apples and we got the honey crisp. And so those are kids' snacks as well as bananas. Anytime they're hungry between meals, they can have a banana or an apple or a piece of cheese, or they can have some cottage cheese now. So that's kind of how we roll in this house. We've got the cilantro to make the salsa. We've got the white onion to make the salsa. I do have yellow onions. They're super potent. I don't know if white onions are any less potent, but that's what we're going with for the salsa. And then, like I said, we're going to be planting them. Okay, y'all, the potatoes were $4.99, so $5 each bag. And yes, I know I can get a huge bag of potatoes that aren't organic, but I try to get organic when I can, and I don't always buy organic potatoes. Like, for instance, these aren't organic, but we try to where we can. This red cabbage is because I'm going to make some sauerkraut. So if I didn't mention that before, we're going to make sauerkraut with the red cabbage. We love sauerkraut around here. I have the recipe on my channel. If I haven't shared it with you recently, it's because it's been done on my channel quite a few times. So search sauerkraut and you'll get the amazing fermented sauerkraut recipe. So what do you think my total is? Give your guess down below. This is what... $143.21 of groceries looks My like. My goodness, today has been a busy, busy day. I started out early in the morning going to the grocery store and I have just been working all day long and food meal prepping, doing all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned. In my next video, I will be sharing with you a whole heap of meal prep and I look forward to sharing that with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.